Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Janu tribe. And we are here with Triton, who is gearing up to be one of our new breeding males of the next generation. And he is quite impressive. He has violet eyes. He is born to Dolly, who is one of my favorite females. She is a beautiful frog-legged female who's pretty good at swimming and cracking open any delicious clams that she stumbles upon. And she has had several interesting children, Triton being her eldest. I actually need to change his gemstones to blue just like hers to signify that these are going to be our aquatic creatures so even though a few days ago i said we were not going to focus on aquatic creatures we've ended up with a flurry of random mutations that have made the perfect genetic storm to hopefully be, ha be able to have some really good water creatures who can go through, gather up lots of clams, gather up tons of fish, and really start providing in a new way for the Janu tribe. However, uh, we do have a little bit of a problem. We've been so focused on gathering up lots of delicious food, a lot of t uh, berries, cracking open all of the delicious nuts that are over here with Comey and her branch of the family tree too, that I haven't really gotten any good fighters in. And this predator has decided that he is hungry and he has actually killed Tanu who was one of our who was the first born that we ever had on this island and he came over and just finished Tanu off in one blow it was devastating and now there's a bunny sitting on top of Tanu's bones which I think is a little bit morbid but Tanu's brother Kuro has stumbled upon this situation and we're gonna have to try to fight off this predator as well as we can the only problem being that very few creatures in our entire tribe have more than two attack. And two attack does not kill a predator very easily. So this is going to get a little bit of intense. I have a feeling that we might lose Omiri and uh, we might end up losing Kuro as they try to fight off this beast and keep him away from our special little nest. I am very excited that we just stumbled on this nest last time with Triton because he is going to be able to turn this into the tide pool nest. This is right next to the water. This is a great spot for him to be able to bring over his two mates, Jali and Orca. They don't even know that they're all going to smack into one another and have some wonderful water babies for me pretty soon. But this is a great opportunity for him to have water babies that can just pop right out of the nest, kind of like little tadpoles, and just take off into the water. And I'm very excited to start exploring the water, to start trying to do some fishing. We do have Triton's younger sister, Relisa, or Relasi, excuse me, uh, who I really should rename. Hmm. Hmm. What should I rename her to? I'm not sure. I don't plan on breeding her just yet. She's too closely related to her brother. Oh no, Relasi. Well, now I'm going to have to change your name. So let me think for a second. Um, let's try Sunny. Let's go with Sunny. And she is a little bit too closely related to her brother for me to feel comfortable breeding them, but I would love to pass on that fishing tail that she has. So we'll keep an eye on her and we might consider breeding them in the future, but they might have a short-sighted child too. So I may wait and make Sani wait until uh, we see if any of Triton's children would be a good mate for her in the future. So Sani is down here also playing in the sand. She's going to help gather up these berries and gather up any clam shells that we happen to run across over over here and then up here Dolly is about to give birth to a new child and I'm not really sure what I want to put into the mutations menu for her new child um, we're really focusing now on getting this little branch with Triton and the two guild females to have lots of great aquatic creatures so I would actually like to try to steer towards having stronger creatures so I think I am going to leave poison fangs and big body as the traits in the possible mutations really remember there's only a 30% chance and a 10% chance that these will show up in the next child. But it would be really nice if we had some stronger creatures pretty soon because there are going to be some threats. This is the first predator we have ever run into on this island, but on the middle island, there will be a lot of threats that we will want to be able to fight off pretty easily. So getting in some venomous fangs now might be really useful. And I know a few of these guys are actually hiding venomous fangs as their secondary. 
And then finally, we have little Piper, who was also born to Orchid. And despite my best efforts at producing different types of creatures, somehow Orchid, with absolutely no aquatic anything in her recessive or her dominant, no aquatic anything in her mate's recessive or dominant, has had two guild children and one water-bodied child. So I have no idea how that happened, but it did. It was completely just based off of the random mutations. Pretty awesome. But we are going to be sending Piper on over and she is going to be joining the water tribe too. So let me go ahead and actually when I'm thinking of it, change all of the gemstones on everybody associated with water to blue. So we'll focus on that. And then our best fighters will probably have red gemstones and our best berry collectors, green gemstones for now. But it's gonna be pretty interesting to see how many more berry collectors we can end up with. And I think I'm gonna have Comey actually start doing a little exploring. So I'm gonna send her over there. All right, so let's keep an eye on this predator. But we also want to keep an eye on the new baby who's about to be born. So Dolly, go ahead and let's see what your new little one's going to look like. Oh, I think the predator just took out that... The predator did just take out that bunny. Oh my gosh. That's getting kind of interesting. Do we want to steal... I think I kind of want to steal the bunny. <gasps> There's so much dead stuff around this guy. Look at him. Can we just leave him there? And can we just scavenge off of like the bunny meat that he has? Uh, and now I'm going to move him back over here. I kind of want to just scavenge for a minute. We're going to keep an eye on that. But all right, let's go see what the new baby looks like. New Tata. <gasps> yes, we do have the poison fangs. Huzzah. Yes, I'm so excited about that. So this one looks like he'd probably be a really good land-based creature. We have cracking ability for nuts. We have got a little bit of swimming if he so chose to go swimming. And we've got good strength. New Tata is now the strongest of all of the creatures that we've ever had. So I think I want to go back to the deer theory, like the deer uh, family line that we had going with Navar and Doli. And I I think I'm gonna name him uh, New Deer. Like, uh, yeah, just New Deer. Hmm. There we go. Uh, no, let's go with New Deer. There we go. Yeah, perfect. And he is going to focus more on land-based activities. He's got pretty good movement across the land at three movement. He's got pretty good collecting. And if he happens to fall into the water, then he can swim his way back out, which is quite useful. Not that that actually happens, but still. And he's got really interesting colored brown antlers. And we have like dark brown antlers on these two. That's why it looks different. All right, so new deer, welcome to the family. He is now one of our absolute strongest fighters and he's got healthy immunity genes, so wonderful. All right, so now I'm gonna keep an eye on that predator, but he's not really doing too much just yet. And I'm actually going to move Omiri. I wanna move Omiri around to kind of go around to keep an eye on the predator. And Triton, I'll move over here. And he's just kind of keeping an eye on things. He doesn't know it, but this is going to become his turf uh, as he gets a little bit older. Let me see. Let's go ahead and move Sani over so she's standing next to the berries that she can collect. And then Orca is now a full adult. So we're just waiting for Triton to age up and then we can try having some interesting babies between the two of them. Orca is going to collect up that clam and then she's going to keep moving along the land. Jilly is a little faster. So Jilly has managed to get over. We're gathering up everybody at the tide or the tide pool, I should say, the tide pool. I was thinking of Triton. All right. And then I think that's enough babies from, well, you know what? Dolly has such interesting babies is the thing. So, but at the same time, if we're about to start this branch, hmm, I'll have to think about it. So I'm going to move Dolly over. She can gather up those berries and I'll leave her there to keep an eye on her son. Her mate, Navar, can gather up these berries. <gasps> Look, there's another bunny. Is the predator going to like attack this bunny too? And then we're going to get Piper ready to move across and go join this group over here. And then let's go ahead and we're going to slip Orchid into the nest so that she can try to have a strong, healthy baby. And we can get our land-based Janu tribe creatures a little bit more powerful. Because right, right now we have examples like Kulo who gets to daintily pick one berry at a time off of a tree. I don't think that's really impressing anybody. But with rumors of predators around, I think he might come over to the side and he might try to keep an eye on the exposed grasslands over here. All right, so let's come over here. I'm gonna have little Newt be our nut gatherer because we're not getting as many nuts as I was hoping from the tree. So we don't really need tons of creatures standing around the tree gathering them. And I kind of want to have little Comey 
Well, she's not little anymore, but I'm gonna have Comey go ahead and do a little exploring along here. And maybe we'll find something pretty interesting with her. She might even be able to dart into this tide pool. And who knows, I wasn't expecting to find a whole nest just hiding over here after so long. So who knows what she might stumble on on this little island. And it still looks like Australia to me. I know I say that every time, but it just cracks me up. All right, so. Let's go ahead and we're gonna keep a wary eye on what the predator is up to. The bunnies have returned, so maybe we'll just end up scavenging off of what the predator can get. Kind of waste moves though, if you think about it, to get away from him after he kills the bunnies. And we'll keep an eye on Orchid and see what kind of baby she's going to have. All right, the predator has not moved, but he did take out that bunny. So we can go ahead and collect up the meat from the bunny in just a moment here. Was that wrestling? Oh, there's a wrestling and there's a baby. There's two wrestlings. I don't know about this. Two rustlings all of a sudden out of the blue like this? Oh boy, I don't know about that. And we have another spotted child. It's been a while since we've had a spotted child. Um, really? Okay, Rira and Komi. And Rira, do you have, oh man, poor Rira. She's gonna be kind of pushed to the side as just a bit of a scout because she doesn't have any traits that really stand out. She unfortunately is basically like a uh, non-maimed version of her father. So she's just gonna end up being a scout. Sorry, Rira, but it was a good it was a good try. All right, and I think Comey, I might actually send Comey up to be mates with Navarre, but let's check out what this rustling is all about really quickly. Kulo, let's do this. Oh my goodness comey comey who have you stumbled upon over here with his big beautiful claws that we could add into the family tree eh let's go ahead and introduce ourselves no don't be shy come back over where are you going <laughs> don't be so shy comey just wants to love you what the heck can you even swim can he even swim comey no your mate he is the fish that got away comey Oh my gosh! I can't believe he just zipped away. Comey, pursue him in the name of love. Chase after him. We will we will find him. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he just walked into the water like that away from us. I can't believe there was a bunny burrow here the whole time. All right, so Kulo's keeping an eye on that. Oh my goodness, an orchid's gonna come over. I think that we've had enough babies between these two. And I think Comey will continue on the family line. She already has big body. So if we can get some more tough creatures born from her line. And I do like that she has green eyes. I mean, this is very attractive to me. The green eyes and the green gems and the, the beautiful spots. So that's really fun. Unfortunately, uh, in her particular family line, following her mother, Orchid, the... Um, totally patternless fur on the females is what's considered really attractive so right now it's kind of like oh poor Comey you could be so beautiful dear if only you could scrub off the spots so she doesn't take it too personally she's stronger than a lot of the family all right let's gather up that nut and then this nut just quietly gathering nuts over there and then all right let's get over here and look at Orca all grown up. She is definitely something to see. I really like her. And we're getting her over to the tide pool where we have all of these little aquatic creatures that we should hopefully be able to guide over there. And let's continue. I kind of want to like just have Kuro maybe step this way and oh, another berry bush what all right Kuro's gonna steal that meat and hopefully we won't attract the attention of the oh another berry bush of the predator oh no and Omiri is about to pass away so he's passing away next turn oh Omiri at least you got to help out with like discovering lots of things and Triton will gather up these berries and share them with you and and that will be that will be a good moment between the two of them at least all right Sani gathered up those berries and Jalee does have the cracking ability, so I'm gonna send her over here and she can gather up these clams. And Orca, I'll go ahead, Orca can come over here and she can start working her way over towards Triton. Triton grows up, so does he grow up tomorrow? Uh, I think he grows up maybe next turn. And then he and Orca can start having babies right away. Hopefully very, very interesting babies. And he, he might be gaining a little bit of wisdom from his uncle Omiri before Omiri passes on. All right, and then what to do with this branch of the family tree, eh? Well, new dear, you are something pretty darn special, sir. And really, I think that Comey thinks that that mate who has gotten away into the water is something darn special too and wants to pursue him. Um, so let's keep going. Piper, you now get a blue gem. And we're gonna keep Piper moving. 
And then let's go ahead and we'll have New Deer stand over here and kind of keep an eye on things. He is so far our best fighter, believe it or not. And maybe I'll have Dolly go ahead and have another baby then? I feel like we've had, let's take a good look at our family tree. We've had a good set from Orchid. Oh, wow. She's had a lot of daughters to make up for the fact that, you know, Omi always wanted a daughter because they, they needed girls to continue on the family line. I can't believe that Dolly and Orchid have been the ones in charge of having all of these babies. It's kind of amazing. Um, should I have Orchid have more children? I'll have Dolly have more children to keep the genetics a little bit varied. And I am going to start having the children that they have had start having babies soon. So we're going to have Dolly come Come over. She's going to snag her mate, pop back into the nest. He's going to go ahead and he's going to gather up all of these nuts and maybe we'll have him step over here so he can gather up these nuts now too. And is that everybody? That should be everybody. All right. So two, th three things we need to keep an eye out for. We're having a new baby with Dolly. We have to watch on this predator who has so far just been sitting there killing bunnies in poor Tanu. And then I want to see where that male went. Is he gonna- Oh no! We're being attacked! Oh no! He's drowning! Get him out of the water, Komi! Come on, buddy! Oh, Komi! She's rescuing him! Komi is actually pulling him up out of the water onto the beach. I can't believe this. Kuro- Kur Kurovanro? He's got fishing ability. So that's the only way he could defend himself when he's on his own, but he doesn't have the ability to be underwater. Oh my gosh, he's got so many interesting skills. Let's get him up out of the water. Get out of here, sir. Oh my gosh, you're weakened. Let's get her up here too. Are you okay? What on earth was that all about? Look at him. Oh, Komi, this is so interesting. Now she gets to have some interesting babies for as long as uh, Kiravanro lives, which is only like six more days because he drowned himself. But wow. All right, they do unfortunately share the B immunity gene. He has the D immunity gene, which we already have on the island, but not in her line. And let's see how we would combine this. So he's got some new colored fur, black and red fur, which hasn't really been introduced yet. And he has claw. So, oh, oh, we haven't even unlocked Claw yet. No wonder. So I think that Komi is going to have a really good time taking this guy as her mate, though, because she just pulled him out of the water while he was drowning. What was that even about? I think he was just hungry. I can't believe he did that. All right. So she'll be taking over the nest from her mother later. And we're going to have little Rira. Rira is going to help be one of our scouts. So I'm going to send her uh, this way. And then I need to get Kuro. Oh, Kuro. Oh, you're hurt, Kuro. Ah, oh, can I can I fight him off? All right, Kuro's gonna Kuro's gonna give him a good slash, and then I'm gonna have Kuro jump this way. Can Kuro lick himself to like make himself better? I don't think he can. All right, I think Dolly is gonna come over. She's gonna to lick him. Not don't breed with him, but lick him to try to heal him up. And then little new deer, you need to grow up fast because you're my best fighter, new deer. I'm so sorry. It is your fate, though, because you are like the best fighter I have. So hang in there, new deer. And then we have Kier Kier. Wow, he's really cool looking. Look at that. Black eye, black antlers. Wow. Okay, so he came through. E and B immunity. Swimming tail and webbed feet. So what are your abilities? He's actually pretty good. This is at least the average we want to start seeing across the board. Good on collecting with cracking so that if we run across any nuts, we can gather them up too. And okay on attack. I would have been happy to see the venomous fangs continue on too. But maybe if New Year can just age up quickly enough, we can grab that predator, give him a venomous bite, and just keep darting away from him and hopefully survive. So, whew. All right. I can't believe... What were you doing, Kirvanro? I think we need to name him, like, I'm gonna name him Alik. Uh, Alik, there we go. So Alik and Komi, and he was just drowning in the water there. What a silly, silly creature he is. So she just rescued him from, from drowning, even though he has like the feet. Oh gosh, that was pretty amazing. All right, and Newt is still gathering up his little nuts right over there. Whew, all right, keeping it pretty interesting. And then over here, you guys, Triton is finally old enough to be able to take a mate. And right here, we have Orca. So we're going to pop Orca up into the nest. And she's going to grab some of those little nuts, or some of those little berries. And we're going to try really hard to make sure that their children, who should hopefully have either gills or water body, 
We'll also have fishing tail and hopefully the webbed paws. So let's put in webbed paws and let's put in fishing tail and let's go ahead and let these two try having a baby. So they're gonna go ahead and mate. She is expecting the very first little tadpole that we are gonna have in the tide pool. And Triton is going to go ahead and gather up the rest of these berries before those bunnies come over and eat all of them. All right, and then Jalee is actually old enough to mate too. And it's the same situation where she has the gills and we wanna combine her gills and his water body. And we wanna to try to put them together and hopefully get something really unique or maybe even cracker jaws, hmm. Or at least get uh, a creature who could both swim underwater and go fishing. So uh, I might have her kind of focus on walking along. Oh my gosh, she's chasing all the bunnies into the water. She's going to focus on walking along the beach and looking for clams right now and maybe another nest that could be hiding right over here. So we'll have to look into that. Sani is going to gather up these berries right there. And then let's go ahead and get Piper. Same thing with Piper. She has got the ability to go into the water. That's kind of her main thing, but she's also a good collector. And I already have so many babe, like so many females over here. Hmm. I think I'll leave Piper over here then, and she can just help out with collecting berries for the minute because I'm starting to lose some of my berry collectors. Whew. All right. And then Kulo and Orchid still have a little while together. Um, I'm going to have Orchid go ahead and step down. Oh! <gasps> Another nest! Yes! Orchid! Good, good find! Good find! Oh, this is getting so exciting. The island just seemed almost kind of plain for a little while there, and now all of these surprises are popping up all over the place. I love this. And Navarre, who has had many interesting children, is going to stay right here. I do think he should maybe take another female as a mate. Maybe he should take Piper as a mate uh, on a whim? No, they're a little... Eh, they've shared, like, bee immunity. I'm gonna have to think that one through. All right. Wow. Okay, you guys. Talk about some intense moments. We are fighting off a predator. Poor little Kuro ran over here to uh, Dolly and managed to save himself. We have to see if New Deer is going to grow up fast enough to become a defender of the tribe. So far, he is the best fighter with three attack, which is not that high. We are going to see the first little tadpole born to Orca and Triton, and hopefully it will be a wonderful swimmer who can really take the Janu tribe to the sea for the first time. And we're going to have to see what kind of interesting babies these two little silly lovers are going to have as well. So this is really getting quite interesting and intense and heating up. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.